cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the animation movie called Lupin the First. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with an historian called Professor Bersan, and trusting a very valuable golden diary, and a key to the book to his family. We find out that this valuable book contains a direction of a really great treasure, which is known as the Eclipse. A whole lot of people can do anything to get this book in their possession. As soon as his family runs away with the book, a group of German soldiers arrives at his house, and when they found out that the Golden Diary is not in the professor's possession, they pulled their trigger on him. Meanwhile, we see the Professor Bersan family, who are still making their escape, until a car started to chase after them, which turns out to be the Ananerba professor, known as Lambert. The moment the family members were distracted in the chase, they ended up in a car accident, which killed the both couples in the process, but their little baby girl was able to survive in the crash. Professor Lambert is able to steal the keys, but he was unable to find the golden diary that was lost during the chase. Few years later in Paris the diary was later discovered during the Professor Bresson Memorial. The true owner of the dairy, when the host of the memorial reveals the diary to the whole crowd, a man who is revealed to be a postman, hurries inside the building with a letter from the greatest criminal of all time called Arsène Lupin, who announces to them that he will be stealing the golden diary. Immediately, all the security personnels became so vigilant, and places the diary back into the vault. A postman tries to take the diary, but a female security guard stops him, when she notices he is Lupin himself. This instantly summons Detective Zenigata, who has spent his whole life trying to capture the most famous criminal in the city, Lupin. Lupin brings out a gas from his body, and easily makes his escape through the rooftop. The female officer is entrusted in putting the diary back at the safe, only for her to take down another security officer escorting her. We find out that this girl is called Lady Xia, who was also given a task to steal the diary. We see her en routing from the safe and tries to escape with the diary. All of a sudden, Lupin grabs the diary away from her, and as she chases after him to get the book back, she almost falls off the building, but Lupin catches her. Lady Xia continues the chase for the diary, but she wasn't able to match the professional thief, as he jumped from one building to the other. But Lupin confidently claims that the diary now belongs to him, a girl called Falco, takes the diary away from him and escapes with an helicopter. Before Lupin could act against it, Detective Zenigata appears on the rooftop with the other cops who surrounded him, and after a long struggle, they were finally able to capture Lupin. The cops were also about to capture Lady Xia, but she escapes using a parachute. During her escape from the police officers, we see Lady Xia talking to her grandpa on the phone, apologizing on how she failed in retrieving the diary. Her grandpa scolded her for her carelessness, and cancels the agreement they both had. Suddenly, the scene takes us to a secret basement, where see a group of fugitives having a meeting, and are being led by Professor Lambert, and the crime boss, known as Gerald. They were all rejoicing, because Professor Lambert recently received a news from one of his henchmen, that they have finally obtained the golden diary they have spent their whole life looking for. But the only problem is that the diary is locked by a kind of mechanism, and they must find the only key that can be used to open the diary at all costs. Fuyiko suddenly arrives, and gives the diary to the professor as she promised, and in exchange, she is given a huge amount of money. But when she was about to leave, Gerard finds out that Fuyiko was trying to deceive them, and has her detained. Meanwhile, we see a large police convoy transporting Lupin to the prison. We find out that the Golden Diary is the only treasure that Lupin has ever failed to steal. They were so sure of themselves that they have finally captured Lupin, with no way of escaping this time around. But to their surprise, his gang member suddenly appears in the scene to rescue him. One of them is called Daisuke Jigen, who is an expert in guns, especially the pistols he always carries all around. He stops the cops chasing after them by shooting the vehicle tires, causing an immediate accident among them, while the other gang member is called Jimin Ishikawa, who is known to be a samurai warrior, that can kill so many people in seconds. Easily they successfully managed to rescue Lupin, and immediately disappeared from the cops' sight. During their escape, Lupin appeals to his friends to also accompany him in stealing the Golden Diary, but they weren't showing interest in helping him, because they believe the diary leading to a very valuable treasure might just be an invalid information, which isn't worth the time and risk. In response, Lupin tells them that if he manages to find that diary alone, he is keeping the treasure to himself, but they didn't seem to care about it. The scene suddenly takes us to Professor Lambert and Gerard Basement, where we see them attempting to open the diary, using a half part of the key but it was to no avail. Lady Xia returns back to her apartment really frustrated, after her failed mission to steal the diary, and also feels really bad and worried, because everyone now sees her as a thief. 
she was about to cry until Lupin shows up out of nowhere, and as the confused Lady Xiao is wondering how he was able to locate her apartment, Lupin shows her a tracking device he placed in her shoes. Lupin discovers her interest on becoming an archaeologist, and shows her his golden amulet. We find out that the amulet is the other half of the golden diary key, that was given to him by his grandfather. Lady Xia tells Lupin to wait for her while she changes her clothes, but secretly, she calls her grandpa on the phone once again, who is revealed to be Professor Lambert, and tells him that Lupin is in her apartment, and also has the other half of the key to the diary. Suddenly, Lambert renews their deal once again. That if she should bring Lupin along with the other half of the key, he will fulfill her dreams by making her attend the Boston School of Archaeology, which gives Lady Xia no choice, but to do as she is told. Suddenly, she manages to convince Lupin on going to the criminal's hideout, where the diary is, because she's an archaeologist, and wants to find out the history of the treasure called the Ellipse. And in return, she can help him with all the information he needs. She takes him to the criminal hideout, and we find out that Lady Xiao was that little baby we saw at the beginning of the movie, whose parents were killed by Professor Lambert in a car accident because of the diary, but she has no idea about this. When they finally infuriated inside the basement, they were able to retrieve back the diary and the other key, and as soon as they used the keys in opening the diary, they were able to find out that the treasure is called the Eclipse, which turns out to be a power generator, that was abandoned in a lost city, and was hidden in the north area of Mexico. Suddenly Lady Xiao points a gun at him, making Lupin to realize that he was led to a trap, but he still plays cool about it, and handed himself over to Gerard and Lambert willingly. Lupin is locked up in the fugitive prison, where he also encounters Fuyiko, a professional thief just like Lupin, that was captured for trying to deceive them. Suddenly, Fuyiko smartly uses the opportunity to escape, as she manages to draw a guard closer to her, and finishes them off in seconds. She left a key for Lupin to escape, and takes off using a plane. Lupin sneaks around the plane to retrieve back the diary, only to hear a discussion from Lambert and Gerard, that the Eclipse is a very powerful weapon, and the diary can help them with instructions on how to use it. They were also searching for Adolf Hitler, who reportedly faked his own death, and ran away to South America due to the Berlin Fall and is now planning to use the Eclipse to resurrect the Third Reich. Gerard and Lambert notices that Lady Sia has been listening to their conversation, and she questions them on why she was never told that the Eclipse is a kind of weapon. To prevent their secrets concerning the Eclipse from leaking out, Gerard had no choice and throws her out of the plane, and Lupin who sees this also jumps out of the plane to try and rescue her, but unfortunately none of them were with parachutes, and as the both of them were falling to their death, Fuyiko appears from nowhere with a plane, and rescues Lupin and Lady Xia. Gerald and Lambert henchmen started to shoot at the plane, which causes it to crash, but the other members from Lupin gang called Jigen and Goemon, were able to arrive in time, and save them from the impending danger. But the problem only gets worse when their car was destroyed by the machine guns from Gerard henchmen, which left the crew stranded in the desert. With not much of a choice, Lupin calls that one guy who will come anywhere in the world just to capture him, as soon as he contacted the guy who turns out to be Detective Zenigata, he immediately appears with his team to Lupin location, and tries to capture him, but ended up being deceived by Lupin, as he uses the Detective Interpol helicopter, and escapes with his gang. Detective Zenigata chases after them and when the helicopter takes off, they had no choice but to capture him. Lupin explains to him on how Professor Lambert and Gerard are about to get their hands on a weapon which is the Eclipse, that has the capability of destroying different part of the world. Of course the detective was hesitant to work with a thief like Lupin, but Lambert and Gerard cases is a more serious crime, and finally decided to team up with Lupin and his group so they can capture the villains, and to stop them from their evil plans. When they landed at a port to rest for a while, and also devised their plan in capturing the villains, Lupin meets up with Lady Xia, who was really so confused on how her grandfather could do such a thing to her, and reveals about her being the granddaughter of Professor Brisson and Professor Lambert who claims to be her grandfather was the one that killed her parents, and also adopted her, so he can get his hands on the diary, and the ellipse. Lupin was also able to find out that his own grandfather was the one who assisted Brisson in finding the eclipse, but they decided to hide the diary, so they can prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. The most surprising of all is that Lupin also managed to steal the diary back from them. The scene suddenly takes us to the north side of Mexico, where we see Gerard and Lambert heading inside a cave, as they were able to discover the location of the ellipse to be in that cave. Their plan didn't work out as expected, because of the traps in a cave, and the only way to get past those traps to have the ellipse in their possession is by using the diary, so they had no choice, but to return back to the basement where they captured Lupin. 
as soon as the villains left, Lupin and his team enters the caves, and after they found out that it was the traps that prevented Gerard and Lambert in getting access to the ellipse, they were able to use the diary as directions to figure out a secret password, which was able to deactivate the traps in the caves. But it turns out that there was another trap, and when they couldn't find a clue concerning the secret password on this one, their only plan now is to dodge all the shots from the trap, and deactivate the trap from the inside, which will finally lead them to the ellipse. But the only person who could do that was Lupin. We see Lupin dodging all the shots from the trap, which astonishes the group, and also reveals to us how professional Lupin is at stealing stuffs. When he finally made it to the ellipse, Lupin discovers that it was all Lambert and Gerard plan all along by using them as a means to clear out all the obstacles to the ellipse. With them pointing guns at them, they had no choice but to surrender to the criminals. Daisuke and Jimin were so furious when they found out that the ellipse turned out to be a weapon, instead of a treasure, and blamed Lupin for not informing them earlier. Instead, they wouldn't have risked their lives for a weapon, which is of no value to them. Lambert and Gerard takes Lady Xiao along with them, and were able to activate the ellipse, which carries them along with Lady Xiao back to the surface, but Lupin and his crew blocks them with a plane, and prevented them from escaping, as we see Daisuke Jigen destroying the plane fans using his sniper abilities. While we see Jimin, who uses his incredible sword skills to slash the plane wings into two, which almost causes the plane to crash, but Lambert uses the eclipse which brings out a wings in a ice form, making the plane to fly again. Lambert also uses the powers of the eclipse to unleash a mysterious kind of energy, that killed Lupin and his gang. Thinking they are already dead, Lambert realizes how extremely powerful the eclipse is, and decided to have it to himself, and burns the diary. He plans to use the power of the eclipse to threaten the world, so they can summit to him as the new ruler. Gerard who felt betrayed fights with Lambert, and we see how he easily overpowered the old man, while we see Lady Xiao trying to take control over the eclipse. Gerard tells her to stop and threatens to kill her if she doesn't, but as she kept on trying to deactivate the eclipse, he pulls the trigger on her, but Lambert takes the bullet for her sake. A flashback is shown when we see Lambert picking Lady Xiao from the orphanage, and in few seconds, he dies. This showcases that Lambert really still cared for her, even with his despicable nature. Later on, Gerard receives a phone call, telling him that their leader Hitler has been found. Immediately, he takes Lady Xia and the Eclipse to meet him. As soon as he arrives at Germany, he finally meets with Adolf Hitler, and tells him about the Eclipse and its powers. Lady Xia not wanting a ruthless killer like Adolf Hitler to get his hands on such powerful weapon, she tries to kill him with a gun but couldn't, because she's not a murderer. Adolf Hitler instructed one of his henchmen to kill Lady Xia but as Lady Xia was taken away to be killed, the person turns out to be Daisuke Jigen, disguised as one of Gerard henchmen, and the most exciting of all that that the rest of the group are also alive, and they were also able to infiltrate Gerard basement beforehand, and took down every one of them using each of their incredible skills. Meanwhile Gerard takes Hitler to the place where he kept the ellipse, so he can test the capabilities. Funny enough, that person turns out not to be Hitler, but Lupin disguised as him who mocks Gerard on how stupid he was, because Adolf Hitler is revealed to have died a long time ago. Angrily, he engages in a fight with Lupin and as he was defeated in a fight, Lupin manages to use the ellipse to activate a micro black hole, which kills Gerald after a long struggle, while Lupin manages to make his escape, by using a gravity device. After a long romantic conversation, Lupin says his final goodbye to Lady Xia, and also gives her a document that can allow her to fulfill her dreams, on attending the archaeologist school. As soon as he goes away, we see Detective Zenigata who still continues his chase for Lupin, and that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.